Hi, my Aries. Welcome to your mid month, and this is going to be your soul and life guidance. And for the last two weeks of December, pay attention. This is really going to help you to stay in a positive energy and start the new year in a new way and much better. Okay, so my Aries wanted to remind you that we are in mercury retrograde in sagittarius so uh we going to have this energy of mercury which it means we're gonna have a lot of delays especially when it comes to transportation and trips because it's in sagittarius and that's what sagittarius is it's about trips high learning um knowledge etc etc and and communications because that's what mercury is about communication so communications and trips delays i already had a lot of delays when it comes to trains we're going crazy you know miss signals etc etc so now you understand um and then uh saturn the planet of karma is going home is coming home into the 10th house of public image uh career authorities dealing with your bosses um and also dealing with a father father figure all right so yeah so remember stay in the good side of the things with integrity because saturn brings us lessons and we need to stay good all right so your first car is going to be the energy that will be coming and for you in this last two weeks use my norms for what is that you need to avoid what are the things that you need to avoid what are the things you need to avoid my aries this is like asking so this is a great card my aries and i will figure why is this because oh okay it's a great thing but i don't understand why is this you have to avoid that but we will look into that and with which are the things that you need to focus on wow and this is calling your name relationships my aries that's your soul lesson and i know this seems to be very very uh express, ex express um expl explicitly for a friend because i just talked into her but as you see i have nothing to do with this card so now the guidance for my single people oh, what it's going on aries your energy you're getting all over the place or you feel like you are being all over the place or something for my singles complete singles mean alone you have nobody in your life nobody you just broke up with someone you're alone nobody we lonely and our couples our couples yes so let's start the energy will be coming into you this means movement movement trips maybe you're gonna be traveling coming back home or you're gonna be moving to a better place uh i think this energy is going to be something that you need to embrace in a certain way because it's good for you um this energy coming in will allow you to stay away from patterns and things that you don't need to have in your life maybe you've been having trouble with relationships in general with work with people with situations and this type of energy is telling you you know you need to move to calm waters move to where positivism is so you're going to feel like you're going to be probably being pushed. The universe is going to be pushing you to a better place, basically. Okay. But when it says you need to avoid and it says the bouquet and then under it, it means this. So then I do understand now what it means. And I think it means, you know, over spending. I know. I know. There's beautiful. I know my Aries. You are, you, you guys, you, you love beauty. You love the bouquet, but it's telling you, you probably need to avoid this. This is finances, the fish. And they're trying to tell you, this means abundance. And I think uh, this is what it means. 
you try to you need to avoid over spend and stuff okay stop you're probably buying so much stuff you know and they telling you just limit yourself a little bit because there's beauty maybe celebrating too much a little bit and you're gonna have a lot of invitations a lot of invitations of maybe maybe a lot of places but you need to make sure that you try to avoid overindulging into the happiness and the beauty like especially when it comes to your finances okay now what you need to focus on look at this Aries it's all about work and career and if you go back to your December I'm pretty sure it's you doing so well with your work and your job and new something new about a new career come up remember this is a soul guidance that compromise every single area of your life relationships and work and finance etc so pay attention to everything okay and try to put it into your situation so look look trustworthy guidance and they said you need to focus on someone who probably help you or focus in your editing editing stuff projects um, and someone can help you in and I think someone was coming into your job too that you were gonna meet someone in your job that will give you ideas because it says you see look at that little angel over there helping you so it says you receive a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers this idea is real and trustworthy you can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea so any idea you have especially with work as you see this person is really working and editing things so it could be also in love because in any type because it's, it's you know put it in like you need to work and focus on editing fixing uh, things but I see it more related to work okay but at the same time your relationships around with people in general okay so make sure you take care of this okay and um, you you need to learn and edit things um, that's what I it comes to my head a lot editing 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 so remember because your soul guidance your lesson I mean is relationships isn't that funny isn't that funny I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good what did I say what did I say it's so funny you need to move into something positive so you need to learn to just interact and be in a group with people and relationships where people are good for you they bring the positivism to you that energy that you need in your life you don't need people dragging you down people saying stuff to you and putting you in a negative face you don't need that don't worry get that out of your life that's why the energy for you in this last two weeks is going to be sharing with people being pushed by universe to be learning that you need to be with this type of people with this relationships okay stay away from people who says to you something like a bully type of thing you know just don't don't even deal with that ignore it and remember focus in your job and editing things fixing things even with your relationships right what people you need to bring into your life to help you with your work all right and positivism oh my god so for my singles totally single release you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving force I, I think uh, I just got this for singles too with the other side I've seen for all my singles so far every single one that I've done is saying the same thing you see let go of the past let go of you know things and give it to the universe to take care of it do not get stuck this is why you being pushed to move into a better situation come waters because you need to learn to deal with this type of relationships 
in love, family, career type of relationship, business, partnerships, whatever. Where there is better positive and calm waters, you know, like things are better. You see how things interact with each other? And for my couples, this is my people who are lonely, completely lonely. And for my couples, marry or not marry, but they're together. Respect. There you go. So, guys, you value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. And I think that says it all. Remember, attract people who serve your higher good. And to attract love, because this is your love guidance right here. To attract love and bring love to your life. New love. Okay? So, or reestablish that love. If you, with your partner, and you guys kind of like feel like he disrespected me, she disrespected me, or whatever. Remember, everyone has their unique way and perspective of how love is. So you need to respect that. Sometimes it could be that you're dealing with a partner that is too restricted or too limited. Like, I used to hate my ex, uh, not hate him. I mean, hate what he used to say sometimes to me because he would not respect my point of view on how love is and, and how the relationship was going. And he would say, you're such a prude. And I was like, I'm not prude. I was just, that's the way I am, you know? So you need to love and be with the person for who they are. You can't force to change someone. People don't change. If you want to change this person or the way they... So that means you're not good for each other. Like, you're not... You need to give a space. You need to understand each other and see that everyone is different. Okay? Don't push. Okay? Respect. Remember, stay in... And a phase where everything is positive and good and is served to your higher good. So anyway, my Aries, I hope uh, this helped you in any way. Stay in this energy. Take advantage of this. And I wish you all a wonderful New Year's. And see you next year. Ciao.